The president spending a little bit less time on stage uh, versus five years ago. He was very much on the ground meeting, greeting supporters. And I had the chance to catch up with the president last night after those preliminary results were announced. I asked him how he felt about the victory. Obviously, I'm very happy, but now I'm committed to deliver for France, Europe and multilateralism. Let's take a look at some of the market trades early on. It seems as though the market was very much pricing in a Macron victory, although with a much slimmer lead. The euro at this point is stable, so it seems to be more of a, a greenback story this morning. But uh, stable is in some ways a win for France at this point. If you look at some of the market commentators there, if there had been a change, then you may have seen a sell-off in the euro. So stable it is at this point. And a quick look at yields as well. Don't forget, we often see politics here in Europe express through the bond markets, but those yields also stable. Most have been marching higher, though. We've seen that from the German bonds to OATs here in France, that there is a link to what we've seen on U.S. Treasury markets, so they have been marching higher in recent days. Well, turnout stood at 72%, according to the French Interior Ministry, with 28% of registered voters reportedly abstaining. That is the highest rate in over 50 years for a second-round vote. What is key now is President Macron has promised to get back to work with his focus now on the legislative elections. His party, La République en March, is facing a tough battle in the upcoming parliamentary vote in June in another face-off with Marine Le Pen's national rally, as well as Jean-Luc Mélenchon, who has his mind set on becoming the country's left-wing prime minister. To me, what was quite stunning was in the speech last night, this victory speech, where Emmanuel Macron very much picked up on some of the dissent. He made a nod to the fact that it was, there was tactical voting going on, that people had turned out to support him on the day, but not necessarily his ideas. And it did seem to be a much more humble approach from Macron and all of the cabinet ministers that had a chance to catch up with last night, Bruno Le Maire as well. The message was that they had listened. And you could see even his approach when he was greeting supporters. He wanted to be seen as in touch on the ground with people here in France. Absolutely. That was really striking. It was not a triumphalist tone at all last night compared to 2017. He seemed very humble, as you say, saying, I've heard uh, when he, in his speech when he said, look, uh, this is not a continuation of the first mandate. Things will be different. I thought that was really key in his speech. Uh, a very short speech as well, just 10 minutes. It was, wasn't it? Exactly. So you, had this, you didn't have this party atmosphere of 2017. Certainly a relief. I think you'd feel it in the air for both the supporters and his team. But that's right, you're right. I think a very humble and a very different tone coming from Emmanuel Macron. I'll just pick up on that emotion because I caught up with Macron at the end of the first round of the election too, as well as last night. And this is a man who was so composed at all the international events we've spoken to him at. He is very much on message and very calm and collected. He knows what he wants to say. But he seemed visibly shaken on both occasions, last night and two weeks ago. I, I don't know whether the campaign has taken its toll, whether it's been somewhat exhausting, going around to various different parts of the electorate, trying to win back support, but also tackling these challenges around the war with Ukraine. I mean, it's a monumental events for Europe at this point, but he did seem a little bit fraught to me. And he probably got a bit of a scare before the first round because we saw these polls getting very tight. We were within the margin of error. Of course, it must have been a relief to see the numbers yesterday because they were higher than the last poll we had on Friday night. Certainly, he did better than expected, but he must have had a fright before the first round. And that's why we saw him campaigning so heavily between the two rounds, a completely different Macron between the first round and the second, and the second round. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.